If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. While there are no hard and fast rules about creating relational database tables, there are a few tips you should try to follow when beginning database design. First, examine all current documentation used to collect and store the information that you now want to store in the new database. This step ensures that when you are creating your data tables and performing your data modeling, you won't leave out a critical part of your database. Doing that often leads to frustrating periods of redesign. Also, consider what the database must contain in terms of the forms and reports you need to design. Also consider the need of the users who must run these reports and perform data entry in the forms. You should gather this information from those users who need to use the database you create. Next, use the entity and attribute and relationship modeling that was discussed in the previous lesson. This is a helpful first step in discovering how your tables should be structured. It is also important to note that the way that you store data in the tables in a database is independent of how the users input the data into the tables. Once you learn more about form design, this will become readily apparent. When performing data modeling, you may want to start by listing the entities or subjects of the tables in the database along with their properties or attributes that you want or need to record. You may also find it easier to begin by listing the attributes and then trying to discover to which entities those attributes refer. Once you have accomplished this part, Sketch the entities as tables and find or create the primary keys needed for each table. Sketch relationships between the tables and list the type of relationship that the tables share. About 99% of the time, this will be a one-to-many relationship. After you have a preliminary table sketch, you can then turn to normalization guidelines to assist you in analyzing the database structure for its relational soundness of design. These guidelines were created to assist the relational database designer in creating sound relational structures that do not break any of the foundational tenets of relational database design. While these are not rules per se, you shouldn't violate one of the normalization guidelines without having a very good reason for doing so. If you decide to do so, document your reasoning for making such a break. When a relational database follows one of the normalization guidelines, it is said to follow the form of the guideline. While there have been many normalization guidelines proposed, many database designers find it is adequate to design their relational databases to satisfy the normalization guidelines through the third or fourth normal forms. The first normal form requires atomic or unique values at each column and row intersection in the entity table. There should be no repeating groups, thus no item 1, item 2 column design like you may see in a flat file table layout. Second normal form requires that every non-key column in a table must depend on, or in other words, refer to, the primary key. A table must also not contain a non-key column that pertains to only part of a composite or multi-column primary key. The third normal form requires that no non-key column should depend on another non-key column in a table. This is very similar to the second normal form. You shouldn't have a field that is an attribute of a non-primary key column in a table. Fourth normal form forbids independent one-to-many relationships between primary key columns and non-key columns in a table. As you begin modeling your database tables, be sure to document your work as you create your initial designs. Correct violations of normal form that you see or make conscious decisions to override them. Always document why you chose to make the changes you do make. After you create your basic tables and relationships, review your design. Then create the database tables in Access and enter some preliminary or test data to see if your design works or how well it works. Reevaluate your design and fix flaws as required. Always document the reasons you decide to change the table design. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.